G'day guys, welcome back again. It's Christmas Eve. Yes, finally here. Uh, it's pretty early in the morning though. It's, uh, what is it, about 6.30 in the morning, Christmas Eve. Uh, I got up nice and early. Uh, I had puppies over the weekend, emergency caesarean, so I got up early, 4.30, just to check on the babies and everybody's fine, so that's great. Uh, it's Bronte's first litter, so I was a little bit worried about her, but all good. Um, so anyway, Christmas Eve, and I thought I would do, can you guess what colour I'm doing today? Green. I don't know how this light is. Um, over there there's a, a window and we're getting the early morning sun streaming in, so there's a bit of shadowing happening. So hopefully it will be all right. I don't usually pour this early, but I've um, got lots to do today. It's also my youngest daughter's birthday today, Christmas Eve, so Gemma, uh, well, she's turning 24 today, so <clears throat> I thought if I get up early, get the painting done, say Merry Christmas to everybody, and then I can get on with birthday celebrations and finalising my last few things that I need to do for tomorrow for Christmas. Now, this is one of the pours that I did the other day, nice and dry now. This was the ring pour that I did... Um, with just layering the cup with black and white and I got sort of more of a grey look than um, a black and white. So then I tried it again <clears throat> with my split cup and that's it there. So as you can see the colours are a lot more separated. I got black and white this time, not the grey. So that's the finished one there. As you can see my paintings really don't change very much from when I pour them. What you see when I leave you is pretty much what they end up like. Now, I don't know if you can see all of this one in the frame. This was my rainbow pour. So it's all nice and dry now. Beautiful. So we've got the purple, the indigo, the blue, the green, orange, yellow, and red. So that's that one there. So it dried nicely. As it, again, hasn't changed from when, it's, uh, when it was wet. So oh, there we go. I know everyone likes to see the finished products after they're dry, so let's get on to today's pour. So a green pour today, and my mix is 65% glue, 35% water, and I make a big batch up and put it in this bottle. So in my cups today, I've got 70 grams of my pouring medium and 70 grams of paint. So it leaves a little mound on top when I drizzle it in and the mound sort of stays there for a little while. I hope you guys can see that. You can see the little ribbon on the top there stays for a, a second. So there we go. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six colours. 140 grams in each cup, around about 840-ish, 850 grams of paint. This one's got a little bit more in it. So I'm using my treadmill silicone, 100% silicone, and I'm going to put six drops in each, except for the white. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oops, that was seven. Whoop, whoa, one, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> so I hope everyone's ready for the big day tomorrow. Finished your shopping, finished your baking cleaning the house, getting everyone organised. It's a big job, isn't it? Preparing for the holiday season. All right, let's give this a good stir in. I don't want any big blobs of silicone that are going to stretch out and become worms and caterpillars. So I'll mix it in well. When I torch, the heat will bring the oil up to the surface create my little cells. Oops, this one's a bit full, it's overflowing. I'll tell you about my colours once I flip my cups over. But this one's um, like a bluey green and I didn't want it too blue so I added a little bit more green which meant I had to add a little bit more pouring medium. And this one's the opposite scale, this one's more of a lime. So all shades of greens from a dark green, a lime, a bluey green, <clears throat> sort of a light green, and this one's sort of a khaki, sort of a green. I 
I think in the States you say khaki, but in Australia we say khaki. <laughs> Same thing. Okay. Now, start layering. Got some white first. Pop the white in. And because, I don't know if I can actually drizzle this in, how well that will work. Yeah, it seems to be all right. I was gonna just pour it in down the side because these are quite deep cups and the paint's got a long way to go before it hits the bottom. It seems to be all right. Okay, so what I've done is I've gone light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, back to light. And that's generally how I like to layer my paints. It's quite hot standing in the sun here. Hopefully it'll go. It'll move around. So I finished my baking. Well, not all of it. I have to make my Christmas dessert today. My family don't really like uh, Christmas cake and plum puddings and things like that with fruit in it, but they do like sticky date pudding with caramel sauce. So that's kind of fruity enough, I guess. Um, so I'll be making that this morning. Uh, once I finish pouring, I'll go and jump in the shower, get ready for my daughter to get up and we'll do the birthday gifts. And then we're going out for lunch. She's picked a nice restaurant, so we're going to go and do that. And then once we've come home, um, she can go and do her thing, maybe catch up with some friends. And I will jump back in the kitchen and make the sticky date pudding with the caramel sauce. I do them in little individual uh, muffin trays, you know, in the trays, and they've got the little muffins, like about that big. So I do <coughs> individual ones. So it's nice and you, you turn it upside down when you're serving plate and you, you pour your nice caramel sauce over it. It looks really pretty to have the individual ones. And they cook really quite evenly. I used to do one big casserole dish but the middle would always be a little bit undercooked and then the outsides, you know, maybe not so, they're a little bit dry so I thought oh, I'm just going to do them in the muffin tins. And I never look back. So that's what I'm doing today. Did the rest of my baking yesterday, my gingerbread man yesterday. <clears throat> and I've done my shortbread, I've done my fudge, I've done Rocky Road, chocolate rum balls. People keep asking me for my recipes and I thought, well, maybe I should do a, a video. Show you guys how I make my peanut brittle, my fudge. What do you think? If you want me to do a video, I don't have a food channel. It'll just be with my pouring. I don't know how that, how well that would go down. Maybe people that aren't interested in baking wouldn't appreciate me putting a like a chocolate brownie recipe video up on my page. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Start from this end here, just because this end cup hasn't got as much paint in it. Loving these greens. Do you remember when I did my placemats and I did a whole heap of placemats and I did, they were rings, ring paws, and I did like a red one and an orange one and a blue one and a purple one, etc. I'm thinking maybe do paws like that with these flip cups just so that you guys can see how the colours work together. So a green one like this <clears throat> and then I can do a blue one. Um, like browns, oranges, pinks, purples, and turquoises, and just different shades of that one particular colour, and then add either black or white. So this one I don't have any black. I've got that really dark green, and I'm hoping that will be enough as a contrast without having to add black. Hopefully it'll be alright. And we've got this khaki colour. Let's turn it that way. Can you see that way? That's a bit of a bit of shadow, isn't it, when I've got my hand across the other way.
never done a pour with the light coming in like this. Hope it'll be alright. Hope it's not going to be too glary or too shadowy. But as I said, I needed to get it done early before I get on with the rest of the day. Otherwise, I just won't have a chance. I haven't poured for a while. I've been so busy with my shopping and cooking and cleaning and all that stuff that we do leading up to the holidays. And I just haven't painted for, oh, what's today? Today's Monday. Um, maybe a week. And I've been putting videos up, but there are videos that I've done previously, all the videos that I've done. All right, that's it all done. <clears throat> uh, and I did spray my cups with my silicone spray. That's it there. Oops, can you see that? Silicone spray, three in one. So I sprayed the cups, wiped them out with some paper towel, just to get all the paint out, or as much paint as possible out. Okay. What have I got under there? So I put my little push pins underneath. Got a tiny little gap there. When I lift it up, I might see if I can just put something under there just to stop it cooling. So I've got a little piece of puppy piddle pad that I've cut up. I'm just going to pop that under. If I can, get under there, you. Difficult to do anything with gloves on, isn't it? This is how I support my big canvases. I put the, the puppy pedal pads underneath like that. And that's just enough support. Oh no, I can see a mound there. I have to maybe just fold it in half. Would be enough. And the puppy end off, it's a bit long. Just trim the top off there, it's a little bit long. So as I said, I don't need a lot. It's you know half a centimetre that I've got in the gap. But uh, it just helps to stop any cooling. There we go. So when you flip it around, you shouldn't be able to see a ridge. So it just feels smooth. That'll just help me with my sagging. Alright. One. And three. So I'm just going to flip these. I'm not going to drag them and just make let them make a big puddle on their own. Okay, so colours. Start with the lightest one. I hope you can see it. I don't really like this shadow, but anyway. This one's called Daintree. It's, um, it's a limited edition, but it's basically lime. If you use uh, green and yellow, you'll get that if you can't get that one, so green and yellow together. And then we have just a normal, it's called green light. This one is called green deep. This one is green oxide. This one deep sea. And this was the one that was a little bit on the blue side, so I added some of this green deep, just to green it up a little bit because I didn't want it a blue pour, this is a white, a green, I didn't want a blue pour, I wanted a green pour obviously, So, and that's just my white. Get those out of the way, and I'll just wait a couple of seconds for the paint to release properly, it's starting to here, you can see the, the paint's released, and I've got my little spatula tool ready to go for my sides and my edges, it's good to pick up some paint and then you just put it at the top of the canvas like that and let it fall down on its own. I don't like to push paint and rub it and all that. Just pop it there, let it run down on its own and make a pretty pattern. So that's that. All right, uh, that one has released. Probably didn't put a lot of spray on the bottom. So I, I do know that it's down here. Okay, let's do this. Green Christmas pour. That's pretty, pretty, pretty. How pretty is that? 
All right. And do I want to turn the canvas around and do that? I might turn the canvas around and do that the other way. Whoops, losing some of it. Come down, paint. I didn't flip it very fast, did I? So I'm not dragging the paint here, I'm just letting it fall out on its own. That's a pretty cell. Um, now, I'm just gonna, as I said, I'm gonna turn this around. Flip the other way. I tend to get a different color as well when I flip the other way, which is really bizarre. Same colors, same layering. And yet I tend to get a different sort of color. We'll see if it, I get that this time. I haven't got much white. Oh, there's some white. It heard me. So here I am. Okay, I don't want to use the rest of it. A little bit in there if I need it for later. Okay, that's looking pretty, isn't it? It's certainly green. Right, let's get my torch out. Start torching nice and high, not too close. If I go too close, you get a massive tiny cell so in one spot. So keep it up nice and high, away from the surface. You're better off going around a few times than getting too close. Okay, so that was one pass. Let's turn it off. Wow. <laughs> See what I mean about heaps there? And I just went like that, just once. So this half's pretty much done, so I'll just have a quick sweep over that half there. Wow, very reactive today, my goodness. That was such a quick little sweep over there, and look at them all. My goodness, it is jumping up to say hi. Look at all of you little guys, you're so cute. I love it at this stage when they, they've just popped up and they're so tiny and they're multicoloured and they're perfectly round. It's just a shame you have to stretch them all out. All right, you guys, are you ready to go, hey? just wanted to do that little area just there. So when you just flip your cups over, <clears throat> you don't get a lot of um, sort of messy looking. Uh, when I drag, sometimes I get like a little bit of a messy looking pour, but I found when I just flip them over like this, they, they're quite pretty and the background is really beautiful. Although I have got more cells than I wanted to this time around. Now let's just go nice and slow, take our time, get my little sticks ready to catch the sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go side to side and down towards you at the same time. I'm just going to go over here. I don't want to lose too much of that car key because it's really showing up nicely there. It's kind of got lost in the rest of it. But, oh no, I can see some in the cells that have popped up. Down to the my left, your right corner, and back. It's always a debate: do you finish that corner totally and then come here, or a little bit of side to side? It's hard to know, but let's just do a little bit of side to side. It's going to cover this corner here. Okay, so it's done. So don't have to worry about that corner. Now I'll go for this corner and down there. I've got my stick here so I don't lose too much of this as I just go for that last little corner there and come back, keep the stick there while you come back so paint doesn't all pour over the side. Keep your cells as much as you can. Okay, now it's just that little bit there and I want to see if I can get my hand under and just open up this mass of white cells here a little bit. Let's 
push that open and let that paint just fall over on its own as I'm pushing the center up. Okay, and that is done. Come back. Wow, it's green. Something in there. What is that? A little bit of blobby paint, a little bit of unmixed paint. That corner's really beautiful. This one, not so much, but hey, as I said before, don't ruin a whole painting just to cover one little corner. Let's turn you around, you gorgeous green creature. There we go. Wipe my hands. Move these cups out of the way. I'm not going to need, I don't think I'm going to need those, the rest of that paint. See, so <clears throat> when you flip your, your cups over, you want your paint to spread as much as possible. You don't want to have huge areas left. Do you remember my really bright one when I just threw all my colours in and I wanted really bright? And my I didn't have quite enough paint, so um, my circles were about like that and I had a lot of blank area around and that's, that should have told me straight away, hey, you don't have enough paint. But um, it was just a sort of, oh, quick, let's change canvases. And um, I probably didn't have quite enough paint. Sorry for the shadows here, you guys. So I want to go down to this corner down here. These are quite small, so I don't actually mind losing some of that. I'm not going to use my stick. I don't mind if some of that goes over and stretches a bit because it's a bit too clumpish. Too many cells there, but let's go the other way. Just trying to straighten out my lines here. This side here, I don't want to lose because it's nice and separated. Don't want to lose too much of that so it can come back. Okay. Loving it. Love, love, love it. Maybe I should cut down on my oil next time. Six drops was probably a lot. I've got a lot of cells, not a lot of background. Now I'm just going to put my hand underneath here and get the paint to go down that way a little bit. See if I can stretch them out a bit. Because it's a little bit busy down there, isn't it? Okay. And then back. And I think that will do. I don't really want to stretch any more of it out. What a mess, making a mess, mess, mess. I always get paint halfway up my arms when I have to put my hand under the canvas. Okay. I'm going to turn it around. See if I can stretch this out a little bit more here. I don't know that I can. No, I can't. This is more sort of clumpy here than it is over on the other side. I think that's as good as I can get it, you guys. Um, let's check my sides. What do you think? Green? Yes, I like the pops of lime that are coming through. A little bit of white there and there. Got the darker ones showing through there. Now, let me just check all my sides and then I'll take you in for a close up. Always remember to wipe underneath like that with your little stick. This corner needs covering. Wipe underneath, catch all the drips. Oops, around the window. This little corner can do with a bit of paint too. I think that's done. Who likes green? You either love green or you hate green, don't you? I think it's one of those things. You love it or you hate it. I don't really 
love it and I don't really hate it. I just, yeah, it's just one of those things. You just sort of, yeah, it's all right. It's green. It's okay. All right. Well, that sun seems to have gone behind a cloud at the moment, which is nice, not so glary. Right, let's take these, look at my hands. Grubby gloves off. And I'll take you in for a close-up. <clears throat> I quite like that. I do think I've got a few too many cells though, so don't let me put so much oil in, okay, next time. Stop me. Somebody stop me, as they say. Okay, that's about as close as I can get you guys. There's a little bit of light coming in on the left there. So what do you reckon? Pretty, I like it. You can see all the shades of green. I don't know whether black would have been good in there or not. I did debate it, but I've got that really dark green in there and I think that's enough. You don't always need black in a painting. <clears throat> I just wish I had put less oil in and just not so many cells because there's not a lot of background in that middle one especially. It's just all cells in there. But um, anyway, happy with the paw. Oh no, here comes the light again. Oh, I don't know what happened there. The um, the lights coming through the window. All right, I will stop it there and uh, I will see you after Christmas. Everyone have a fantastic Christmas, Boxing Day, holiday season. Enjoy your family and your friends and um, I'll see you before the next year, before the new year. Okay, bye for now. Merry Christmas.